Hi, I'm Deb Ferriano, and I want to talk to you today about the difference between being an advocate and an ambassador. So, let me share a situation that happened to me in the recent history, probably a couple of three weeks ago. My husband was in the hospital, and I found out that his medications had been messed up. He was on a lot of meds before going in, thought I had everything explained to them that he needed to have on a daily, hourly basis, and they had messed them up. Well, when I found out, I about came undone. Oh, that's a nice way to put it. So, I left the hospital. I was so upset, and I came home and was watching TV, and across the bottom of, I was watching the news channel, and across the bottom of the screen, it said, U.S. Ambassador to the Ukraine. The word ambassador jumped off the screen at me. And the Spirit of God prompted me that, am I an advocate for my husband, or am I an ambassador for Christ? So, my husband had been in the hospital at that point for 12 days. I had been sharing Jesus, I had been talking scripture, asking people, you know, can I pray with you, or actually praying with them. So my witness was out there, and I had all about Jesus, all about Jesus. Well, in that one moment when I got so undone and so upset about that medication, I could have lost my witness, all the words that I had said up to that point would have been hypocrisy, or so they may have said. So I had to make a decision, that fine line between being an advocate and an ambassador. Which one was more important to me? Well, they were both, both important. An advocate is a person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy. In this case, I was my husband's advocate. An ambassador is a person who acts as a representative or promoter, an official envoy. Scripture says in Ephesians 6, verse 19 and 20, Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly Make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. There is a way to be an advocate and an ambassador. We can't get all high and right, bowed up, and, you know, upset about a situation when we're encountering it. The Spirit of God knows what the situation is. You have to defer to Him. I had to defer to Him. The next day when I went into the hospital, I wanted to have a meeting with this and a meeting with that. The doctors and the nurses and the admin were coming in, you know, because they knew they had a hot potato sitting in front of them. But I had had the opportunity to evaluate which is more important to me being an advocate or an ambassador. I still addressed the issue, but I didn't have the anger. I didn't have the temper. I didn't blow up. And they, the words that I had been sharing for the 12 days prior to that were able to stand. Jesus has you in a specific place for a specific purpose. You're going to encounter people. You may have an advocacy situation, but you're always an ambassador for him. The word, let the words that come out of your mouth be true and be able to stand on their own. But you have to be careful not to lose your witness. Don't let the anger, don't let the temper, don't let the injustice even rob that opportunity. Thank you.